In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the last principle in my seven principles that I wanted to go over with you guys. You've reached the point where you've built wealth, you've got enough for retirement, you've paid off your house, and now is the fun part. Now is the part where you get to give and bless others. Okay, so principle number seven uh, can be described as build wealth and give, right? So one of the greatest joys in life can come from giving. I remember the feeling as a kid, going back to Christmas, uh, it was all about what am I going to get? What am I going to get? And now that I'm a dad and have children, uh, one of the best feelings is giving those gifts on Christmas morning to my children. Just seeing the face uh, that they have and their reaction to the gift that they've been given that my wife and I worked for to get for them. The Bible talks about giving exponentially. Uh, the Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. Giving can be done a lot of different ways. You can give time, you can give your talents, or you can give financially. One of the most common things I see with clients are once they reach that retirement point, once they've fulfilled their working years, they're working for an income, they look to give back uh, to those around them, whether that's the community, volunteer work, animal shelters at the church, different things like that, or they're finding different ways to bless others, to charitable donations, things like that. There's lots of different strategies for giving as far as tax benefits. Uh, you want to keep in mind charitable trusts, things like that, that I'll cover in a later episode. But that wraps up my seven principles. These seven principles are true to my core. My wife and I follow them. I recommend them to all my clients in the order that I've discussed them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.